F-117 Nighthawk, known as the Stealth Fighter, stands as an iconic symbol of advanced aviation technology, maintaining its futuristic appeal 39 years after its debut. First flown in 1983, the Nighthawk revolutionized aviation with its sci-fi-like design, pioneering stealth technology, and setting new standards. Shrouded in secrecy during its development, it captivated aviation enthusiasts worldwide. How did the F-117 maintain its stealth for nearly four decades? How did the secrecy of its development enhance its allure among enthusiasts and the public? Join us as we delve into the legendary Skunk Works F-117 Nighthawk, one of the most remarkable aircraft in U.S. history. The Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk has a fascinating origin tied to the work of Soviet mathematician Pyotr Ufimtsev. The genesis of this aircraft traces back to Ufimtsev's 1964 paper, Method of Edge Waves in the Physical Theory of Diffraction, which revealed that radar return wasn't solely dependent on an aircraft's size, but on its edge configuration. Ufimtsev demonstrated that even large aircraft could reduce radar visibility by altering their structural design. However, in the 1960s, implementing such changes posed significant aerodynamic challenges. His visionary work laid the foundation for future stealth technology. In the early 1970s, Lockheed analyst Dennis Overholser discovered Ufimtsev's work. By then, advances in computer technology made Ufimtsev's concepts feasible. This convergence of theoretical insights and technological progress in the 1970s set the stage for developing the F-117 Nighthawk. Lockheed's engineers applied Ufimtsev's principles, creating an aircraft that would revolutionize military aviation. Development began in 1975 with a model whimsically named the Hopeless Diamond, hinting at the extraordinary journey ahead. In 1976, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, contracted Lockheed's Skunk Works in Burbank, California, known for pioneering aircraft like the U-2 spy plane and the SR-71 Blackbird. The codename Have Blue marked the inception of what would become the F-117 Nighthawk. By 1977, two experimental aircraft had been built, remarkably under budget at $35 million, approximately $149 million today. These prototypes, HB-1001 and HB-1002, demonstrated the viability of stealth technology despite incorporating components from various existing aircraft. Both prototypes experienced crashes, but the Department of Defense recognized the technology's potential and expanded the program under the code name Senior Trend. Guided by a sophisticated computer program called ECHO, the development of the F-117 involved designing the aircraft with flat panels called facets to scatter over 99% of radar signal energy, an innovation known as painting the aircraft. The first recognizable F-117 flew at Area 51 on June 18, 1981. Over the subsequent years, extensive development and testing occurred amidst media rumors of a mysterious stealth fighter often misidentified as the F-19. In July 1986, the crash of an F-117 in Sequoia National Park inadvertently revealed the secretive project. The crash led to a rapid government response, replacing the wreckage with an F-101 Voodoo aircraft. Official acknowledgement of the F-117 came on November 10, 1988, and by April 1990, Two F-117s were presented to the public at Nellis Air Force Base. 64 F-117s were built, with the final aircraft delivered on July 3, 1990. Their flyaway cost amounted to 42.6 million each, about 91 million today. The F-117 Nighthawk, often misunderstood by the public, is not invisible to radar, but significantly reduces detection likelihood. It earned the nickname Wobblin Goblin, due to its unique flight characteristics, requiring specialized training. It can carry only two bombs, making it less formidable in payload than other aircraft, and is not designed for dogfights. Its strengths lie in covert night operations, penetrating enemy defenses, and striking high-value targets with precision-guided munitions. The F-117 
F117's design achieves a radar cross section of just 0.001 square meters thanks to its high sweep angle wings, radar absorbing iron ball paint, and magnetically charged exterior. Its narrow exhaust ports reduce infrared signature and two General Electric F404 turbofan engines provide a maximum speed of 684 mbarid. The aircraft measures 25 meters in length with a 13.2 meter wingspan and has an operational range of 1,720 kilometers, extendable with mid-air refueling. A notable mission showcased the F-117's endurance, a non-stop flight from Holloman Air Force Base in New Mexico to Kuwait during the Gulf War, a record for a single-seat fighter. The aircraft's high degree of automation, with sophisticated navigation and attack systems, allows for precise flight adjustments and efficient mission execution. However, pilots often take manual control before attacks. The F-117's combat debut in 1989 during Operation Just Cause in Panama demonstrated its precision strike capabilities. It played a pivotal role in the Gulf War, completing 1300 missions without a single loss, proving its extraordinary capabilities and the pilot's skill. The aircraft was also used as a propaganda tool, symbolizing hope for the oppressed. In 1999, during the Kosovo War, the F-117 faced its first and only combat loss when it was shot down by a Yugoslavian missile. Despite this, it continued to serve in operations like Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom. However, the emergence of the F-22 Raptor marked a shift, leading to the F-117's early retirement in 2008, freeing up resources to bolster the F-22 fleet. The F-117 Nighthawk, with its groundbreaking stealth technology, played a crucial role in modern warfare, from its secretive beginnings to its impactful service. Its legacy as a revolutionary aircraft endures, reflecting the innovation and strategic prowess of the United States military.